Welcome to the Child Nerd Mimic, and today we're presenting the Art of Disney Mulan. This is the Sotheby's Art Action Catalog. This is for the movie that came in in 1998, and the subsequent sale of original artwork and sales for the movie in 1999. Before we get started, hopefully you can hit that like and subscribe and share this video. And that being said, let's get started. So I always like to show off the back cover, and... Look at this. It is not Mulan. So this sale is interesting in the fact that it had other animation art. Here on the cover you can see Pinocchio. And it's not subsequently all Disney artwork. So let's take a look here. So this book itself is about 140 pages. And 50 pages are dedicated to this other Session 2 auction. So here we can see some seven doors. You can see a bonus cell from a line of movie they're auctioning off and down here. You can see it's Pinocchio. We got it's from Warner uh, Brothers Studio, Pepe Le Pew. You can see Roger Rabbit. So once again, these are other animation related artwork that was put up for the second sale that day. You can also see a lot of these are just black and white when a color rendition and I'm sure like for example these cells they must have been in color but it's all just black and white. So this catalog, I have to say, of all the ones I have, is probably the most disappointing one, because once again, it's uh, doesn't, it's not 100% dedicated to Mulan, and the other cells they did have are not even in color. So that's uh, going to be approximately 50 pages, and these other pages just details about the auction, and that reaches the end of animation art. So. Yeah, you flip the book over and everything else will be right set up. So let's uh, start here. And I'm assuming part of the reason why there's less artwork for sale is they started to become more computerized, especially some of those big battle scenes with hundreds, if not thousands of soldiers that weren't hand-drawn. I know they use computer animation to render a lot of those scenes. And so that might be part of the reason that there's less artwork available because of all the soldiers were actually computerized, not hand-drawn. And as you know, Disney feature films nowadays are 100% computer rendered. So it's sort of sad to see this original artwork of hand-drawn form uh, be lost. So once again, for each uh, cell here and background, they do have, for example, the title. Sometimes there's a caption, so you could follow the story and use this as a storyboard. It tells you the size, and of course the asking price, uh, the asking bid price. But thank goodness, the rest of this is in full color, and it's on high archive glossy paper. You can see how the paper is still very white, even though this book is uh, more than two decades old. You can see that big battle I was telling you about. They don't show too much of it because once again, most of it was actually computer rendered. I guess the other thing about this book is when I first showed you that first page, the pictures just started right away. There wasn't like 15 or 20 pages of auction details to begin with because once again, they sandwiched it into the middle of the book. So here you can see this is the end of the actual cells for the movie. 
And here they're showing some of the production posters that they made. And then, of course, the statuettes, 3D statues that they made and painted and colored to help the artist realize their characters in 3D. So beautiful. And that's it. So once again, um, there's a this is 60 to about 90, and this is just more of the auction details and bid request. And absentee ballot billers and stuff. And that's it. So once again, of all the books I have, this is probably the most disappointing one because it's not full length, but still nice to have. Uh, hopefully you don't uh, over pay overpriced for this if you find it on eBay, and maybe you'll be able to get it cheaper because you might see it listed with this cover instead. So hopefully this helps you out.